Hi everyone, this is Sagar again for you people here and uh, I've earlier posted a video on YouTube then how to root your Samsung Galaxy 3 i5801 but many people complained that uh, the video is not up to the mark and I should use a better camera and re-record the video for you people so that's what I'm doing right now here so now with a better camera just showing you people my video on uh, live all papers been running on Samsung Galaxy 3 uh, this is my video showing you people live all papers anyways uh, so just here for you people to make you know that how to root your phone for getting live wallpapers so this is the link you need to follow for routing which I have already described in the, my description blog just open it up and when you'll open it this is going to be the website you will see XDA developers so from here from this page where the automated method is written just download this file that is SGAs a clear easy routing dot zip that's the same file which is used for routing Samsung Galaxy S when you open this particular link you will be forwarded to this website so from here download the file and as soon as you'll download this file you will see a file of this kind just give me a moment I'll show you people SGS a clear easy routing the same file I have downloaded and you need to unzip this file this is going to be the folder that you will be able to see oh my god let's cancel it I'll try it once again this one yes this was the file and this one and uh, here you are going to see seven different files uh, having different names what you need to do is you need to run the start file and here you go you will see that it gives you four options so uh, when if you press one you will be able to root your phone and by pressing two you will be able to unroot it and uh, by pressing three you will be able to exit it however it even shows or four to exit so if you press three or four you will exit this particular window so what we need to do we need to root our phone press one enter so now here are a few instructions for you people first of all disconnect your phone from PC my phone has already been disconnected I've not connected it yet second go to settings application development that is in your phone so let's have a look on my phone unlock the desktop go to applications uh, settings applications and development and what now it says uh, make sure that USB debugging is checked oops mine is unchecked so I need to check it out uh, it says blah 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 USB debugging is intended for development purposes I'll say okay I am always doing a development of my phone so what now uh, it says that connect your phone to your PC just give me a moment I'll do that for you putting my camera on the standby just give me a moment and yes so I'm just connecting my phone to my laptop with help of the data cable and here we go so I have connected my mobile phone yes I have now what let's see the instructions and it says if USB debugging is on a warning triangle will show on your phone 
so let's see if it shows any kind of warning triangle yes it does I can see this particular triangle at the top of my phone so everything is going fine as far as now so the sixth instruction is uh, PC will notify a new device is connected so yes my PC did show it and wait until the drivers are installed but drivers are already installed so I do not do not need to wait for the same so now what it says press any key if you are sure the phone is connected and set yes I'm sure that my phone is connected it shows the USB mode is on and also it shows the triangle that the instructions are saying about so let me press any key here we go that's uh, the procedure for the routing pushing update dot zip to SD card and it is also transferring various files needed for routing and the routing has been completed now what I need to press any key and after I press any key my phone is going to be rebooted into the recovery mode so let's see what happens this is my phone I'm not touching it what I need to do is I need to press any key on my laptop's keyboard so I'll press the enter key and yes it does reboots now let's see if it reboots in the recovery mode or not I think it will well I'm sure it will let's see it's taking time yes uh, it has successfully rebooted into the recovery mode so not now what you have to do it says uh, with the volume keys navigate to apply colon slash SD card slash update dot zip and press the home key after that so what I'll do is I will just navigate using the volume keys which is there on the side of your phone you can see that these are the volume keys everyone knows about it so the first option is routing system now second apply SD card slash update dot zip that's what I need to do so just go to this option and press the home key this one done that now this sign has come it means that something wrong, wrong is going on with your Android device but don't worry nothing is wrong yet I'll press the key again and the routing job goes the phone is rebooting and this time it will reboot in a normal mode and not in a recovery mode it will take time that's for sure because uh, it will restart as if uh, it is uh, booting for the first time ever the nice Samsung logo yeah yeah we know it's a Samsung phone make it fast and here the home screen comes now what uh, well now my phone has been routed but how to know that it has been routed I'll tell you people just bear with me uh, go to the menu option when you'll go to the menu option you will see a new application being installed and what that application would be like this one it's called super user this one I hope you hope you can see that this one the first one so it means that my phone has been rooted and uh, I've successfully rooted my phone uh, within a day, day or two we'll surely upload a video how to enable live wallpapers on your handset uh, I'm sorry there is a call so yes this is my video 
about routing Samsung Galaxy 3 thanks for watching and uh, just follow the instructions given in that particular link and surely you will be routing your phone safely and without any kind of problems and one more thing that this route do not delete any kind of data and wipe any kind of settings that you have made on your handset thank you so much for watching this is Sagar again for you and uh, we'll see you shortly bye bye